In this video, we're gonna expand more on the topic of how when you wanna get something done, you need to invest money towards it. What, that, what does that mean? There's basically a few basic concepts that I'm gonna break down very fast that are going to absolutely change your life for the better in all areas if you understand them. So follow me on this. So the first thing is attention equals growth. So things that I put my attention on, good or bad, will grow in my life. So when you focus on your problems, you're going to make your problems get bigger. When you focus on your income, your income is going to get bigger. Whatever you put your attention on, your mind starts working towards having more of that in your life. So attention leads to growth. You probably experienced it in your life. Anything that you focused on, you probably got more of. When you had a problem in your life, if you over-focused on that problem and not the solution, the problems only grew, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I just want to make this quick. So, second idea is that attention follows commitment. Whatever I'm committed to, I'm gonna put my attention on. But people don't really know what commitments actually mean. So some people say, I'm going to lose this much weight in the gym, or I'm gonna do this business project. And then they have their attention on it, but then it's gone. What happened? What was missing for you to keep that attention? The answer is very simple. You're missing this part. Commitment equals Time plus money. So, the more you put time into something, the more time you spend building something, be it a relationship, a business, um, a routine, anything you, put, you spend time on, you basically grow that commitment. So the more committed you are, the more time you spend, the more time you spend, the more committed you become. And you know how people sometimes they have a project and they put a lot of time into it and even though the project is not good, they just don't want to stop because they're committed because they put a lot of time into it. So the number one reason you're not committed is because of lack of time. The number two one thing that people miss is, is money. When I want to get committed to something, I need to put money at it because whatever, wherever your money is, you're going to pay attention. Imagine if you put uh, even, let's say $50 in the stock market, and you're gonna watch that uh, stock grow or shrink every single day. Let's say you just put $50, it's not a lot of money, or $5, or whatever your version of the bit is. You'll still check every day because you're interested in your money. Wherever your money's going, that's where your attention is going. Just most people, they don't manage their money and they don't invest it. So what their attention goes to is where the money goes, which is to expenses, bills, taxes, crap that's not gonna help you improve your life. So when I wanna get something done, I spend money on it. It doesn't matter if it's the right investment. I just put money in it. And I'll give you an example. About a week ago, about a week ago, I realized that I have to start multiplying my time. A lot of things that I've done were holding me back, that I was doing on a daily basis, were holding me back from reaching the next level because I spent about 70% of my time doing kind of like day-to-day -day work and 30% doing creative work that actually creates hundreds of thousands of dollars every month for companies I work for. What I decided to do then was to hire a personal assistant, somebody that would take all of the menial tasks, all of the things that take up time but don't create money or don't create as much money as I can with my time and give it to him. And I immediately contacted my friend and the first thing I did was I told him, start finding candidates for me and I'll pay you $100 if you find somebody that I actually keep. Now, that created two things. First of all, I started putting attention on it because I spent some time actually taking action on it. And secondly, I put some money into it. So now my focus is on it because I've created a money commitment. What ended up, ha ended up happening was my friend helped me. Uh, but instead of doing the whole shtick, the whole uh, recruitment process, I 
suddenly got motivated and I did actually 80% of it on my own. So what ended up happening was my friend kind of like ignited me to do it. He built the small foundations like the text for the people I'm looking for and other small stuff like that. And then I took it from there and now this Sunday, meaning in two days from now, I'm already gonna have somebody uh, at the office that I'm gonna work with. So what happened here? Did I lose money because I promised my friend $100 and he didn't do 80% of what we said? No, because the moment that I spent money towards something I want, my attention is on it. The moment my attention is on it, it means I'm committed, which means that I'm gonna see growth. So I immediately throw money at something that I wanna get. If I have a problem that I wanna solve, I just throw money at it. I give you another example. My wife is a, my wife is a bit sick and she asked me to bring her some, uh, some pills. Now, most of the places around here are closing at this time. So what I told my friend in order to save me money was, hey dude, I'll pay you $15 if you go grab the thing for me and come back because my time is worth more than that and I wanna make sure that I get it done. So he ended up saying no because he has it at home and he said, I'll give it to you anyway because I don't need to go out and buy it. But what happened was because I threw money at the problem, it basically started making it get solved. It started moving it forward very, very fast. When you put money into things, things become serious. If you come up to your employee and ask him, can you make this quota today? And he says, yeah, sure, I think so. There's a chance he'll do it, but there's a chance he won't. But if you say, if you get it done, you get an $80 bonus. Well, now he's gonna make sure he does it because you've put some money into it. So money creates attention and attention creates commitment and that attention and commitment basically create growth. So whatever it is in your life that you wanna get solved or you wanna improve, start throwing money and time into it. But if you're in a place like me, we're already successful, we're already making things happen and you don't have time anymore because every single moment of your day is spent towards your dreams, you're gonna to have to start leveraging money. You can't stay all, uh, you know, all small in your wallet because you won't be able to, to get committed to stuff. So once you tap out your time ability, start using money to get things done and you'll see how they get done very, very fast. Hope this lesson helped you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Check out my book for $9.99, which details basically my whole life story till age of 23, I'm 25 today. And uh, I'm sure the book will give you a ton of really amazing realizations that will enable you to improve in your life. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.